Now, I think it's pretty safe to say that the future of the Star Wars franchise seems to be quite expansive, not just with their books, novels, comics, and video games, but also, let's not forget about their new Star Wars TV shows, their new Star Wars movies in the works by Disney, Lucasfilm, and others out there, such as Bob Iger, Chapek, George, John, and Dave, that are really pouring a lot of their time and effort into this new universe. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, the thing about Star Wars right now is that with, of course, The Mandalorian Season 2, things have really been taking off. We can already see that a lot of fans that were fed up with the sequel trilogy and the pretty much the entire treatment of Star Wars by Disney and how they actually treated the overall franchise is now slowly being reverted or slowly being reversed. And we can see that Disney is actually really trying a lot in order to gain back the lost Star Wars fans that walked away either after episode 8 and or 9. Now, with that being said, a lot of work is also being done on a lot of the retcons that are being established and how they're going to link up some of the core characters with some of the new characters. It really is quite something of what George Lucas, John Favreau, and Dave Filoni really are trying to do at the end of the day to really interlink Star Wars characters across the board. Now, on top of all of this, what's really intriguing all has to do with the prequel trilogy era and the character of Grogu, Palpatine, Anakin Skywalker, slash Darth Vader. Now, specifically, now that both Disney and Lucasfilm are focused on their new Star Wars universe, it's explained that both Bob Iger and Chapek are working very closely with George Lucas and Jon Favreau in order to evolve the franchise further. Now, it's described that Lucasfilm is in fact developing a major plan to reset major aspects of the prequel trilogy movies by tying everything between both Grogu and Emperor Palpatine in the mix. Now, further, it's noted that Lucasfilm is developing a major retcon for 2021 that will establish that Palpatine at one point in time during Order 66 had ordered Anakin Skywalker slash Darth Vader to track down Grogu and find him, since this creature is said to be the only one of Yoda's species that holds a special value that could become a great asset to the secrets of the dark side of the Force and what powers Grogu holds. So let's stop right there for a second. Now we will be tapping into spoilers for The Mandalorian Chapter 14 in case you guys have not seen it. You may want to back out right now. So in that actual episode, we got to see a glimpse of what Grogu is really capable of. You know, I'm sure that you guys remember that moment of what happened between Grogu, the Stormtroopers, and Moff Gideon. It just goes to show you that things are really are starting to make sense here as to why Palpatine has somewhat of an interest in the character of Grogu. We will be getting into that in just a second. Now, everything related to Grogu is that George, John, and Dave really want to make this character pretty much a focus across the board. Be it the prequels, originals, sequels, and beyond, they really want to make him a centerpiece and make him a very important character, almost as much as the Skywalkers. Now, I'm not quite sure how a lot of fans will see that. I think that Grogu's a very cool character. Obviously, it's an attractive character. It's what gravitates a lot of fans to go ahead and dive into the Mandalorian because of the mystery of the character and exactly what his past holds and what his future holds, right? So, on top of this, all right, the link between Palpatine and B Baby Yoda slash Grogu is set to be placed by the summer of next year that will give fans a different perspective on Order 66 and more. Now, George Lucas wants to make the character Grogu a very special one across the entire Skywalker saga and beyond to hold a very secretive power that fans will be introduced to as well in future Mandalorian episodes and seasons that will tap into Palpatine's intentions with Grogu. Once again, <clears throat> this major retcon that's going to be placed in Episode 3 of Revenge of the Sith is that there's going to be somewhat of a big presence of Grogu in the new and upcoming canon for 2021. Now, the thing about this also is that I think that at the end of the day, what George is really trying to do is that he's really trying to 
interconnect all of the fan favorite characters, be it from the TV shows now and over to the movies. Now, Grogu as a character, it's a very interesting character because we can see what Jon Favreau is doing. He's teasing all of these significant links to the Force, either from Grogu's past and or Grogu's future, and exactly where things could very well go in future episodes and seasons. Obviously, Favreau knows that a lot of fans are very much invested in this character and they want to expand off of that. So, like I've said before in the past, guys, I think that they are on the road to success here regardless things really are turning around and if you guys did enjoy the content for today do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel i thank you all so very much for the kind support and i'll catch you guys next time <laughs>